patient's name was Otto, and he was a younger uh, pit bull mix. And he came in here and had a, a cruciate ligament rupture, so similar to an ACL in you and I. My name is Jason Bleedorn. I'm a clinical assistant professor at the vet school. But one of the big draws to me to a veterinary school, and then specifically Wisconsin, was to be on that forefront and, and be moving things forward. You know, there's a lot of things we see that I think we have a service to the animals so like we can provide a better quality of care, new techniques, and so being here, you're constantly immersed in that. Yeah, that's all it is to it. So. I'm Tyler Gregory, and I'm an instructional designer with the School of Veterinary Medicine. So I was approached by some of our surgeons wanting first-person video, and I thought, well, we can hook them up with kind of a helmet camera that mountain bikers and surfers use. And so we tried that. It's a little unwieldy. Okay, guys. Record a video. Google Glass gave us the opportunity to purchase some hardware and get it out there, and we are one of the first veterinary medical schools to be doing that. So it's very exciting to take a new, out there, kind of hot technology and integrate it into the veterinary medical education. Google, stay delicious and thai. Arroy. Mmm, arroy. Google, jellyfish. Okay, Glass, record a video. I was kind of interested in what we could use it for, whether it might be right now we're using it for getting some video footage and pictures, but maybe we'll advance and we're using it to you know, part of the, the treatment where maybe we can have the, the x-rays or some other images come into that screen while you're working it. So that was something we talked around. Faculty kind of know about these things, but they're generally very busy in other areas and it's hard to get them to slow down enough or focus enough to, to actually implement it. Yeah, having someone who's putting it in front of you, telling you about it, telling you how you could use it, I think is very, very useful, and you know, we'll see where it goes. I watched some special where they had Google Glass, and then it was connected real time to another surgeon in another um, institution, and they had um, a tablet, he had his hand on the tablet, and he was kind of pointing out within the other, the person who's actually doing the case, you know, here's where you cut here, here's where you do something, and then he saw a little hand in his little view box, and so, I brought this up to Tyler and he's like, oh yeah, we can get that if you want to try it. And when there's technology that will help us, the faculty are very game to jump in and say, okay, I want to try this. What technologies do we have access to or what's five, ten years down the road? Where do we want to be? And so by being early adopters, we can position ourselves to be ahead of the game in ten years rather than just catching up. Okay, Glass, record a video pie in the sky sorts of things. We would integrate the device, the glass, with everything in the surgical suite. So really the sky's the limit. The technology is very, very new, but I'm excited to see what we can do with it. <laughs>